Hi everyone, welcome back to a new vlog, although it's not really a vlog, it's more of a day in the life, this video. So today I have to pack my hospital bag. If you are a noob subscriber, I am currently 37, almost in a few days, 38 weeks pregnant, and I have not yet packed my hospital bag. This is my second pregnancy. I have a little girl called Pollyanna who is 19 months old. There's a little update. We are currently going through major or for me it's major, a major house renovation. We are going, um, we are adding an extension onto our house, so the nursery is not done. So this pregnancy has been very different to my first. Um, with my first, everything was ready. My, I think my bag was packed at like 30 weeks. I was kind of so eager. I was on such a countdown. It was, it's just, I think your second pregnancy, you're a lot more laid back. So he has no nursery yet. Um, however, everything is ready for when the rooms are built. I know exactly what I'm having. Um, I've been pinning away and so I don't feel stressed about that, to be honest. However, I have been getting a few kind of um, tightenings in my stomach and with Pollyanna, they lasted nine days before um, labour actually commenced. So I'm kind of getting myself ready now for his arrival. Although his due date isn't until the 13th, I, I'm kind of going for a due month, so he's due in October and that's only a few days away. So yeah, today, packing my hospital bag, I have a delivery from Bugaboo that they've sent me some bits for autumn winter, so I will be unpacking that with you. I also have some other kind of baby bits that have been sent to me, which I'm going to share with you. And um, also, because he has no, um, he's got no drawers, drawers here yet, so I'm going to unbox the baby bits that we have got, show them to you and put them into, I brought a big kind of clear plastic box to put them into. So, pack hospital bag, do a bugaboo unboxing. I will be showing you lots of newborn baby boy bits. I've been very productive this week. I've been writing daily to-do lists of like things I wanna have done before the baby arrives. And every day I've been taking at least two or three of them things off. So I'm feeling very productive. I've put off this hospital bag because I wanted to film with you guys. And just because the second time around, there's so many things that you wish you had taken or you think, why did I even bother taking that? Like, what was I thinking? I think with, <laughs> with Pollyanna's pregnancy, I took um, hair curlers or hair straighteners in. No, you're never gonna get the chance to, unless you're like, I don't know, really care about what you look like, you're not gonna be straightening your hair or curling your hair in a hospital room. And there's a few things that I hadn't taken with me. So I'll talk you through them like as I'm packing them. So this hospital bag is gonna be a lot more equipped with things that I actually need, things that the baby needs. So I wanna show you, our new bed has arrived. So this is currently our bedroom. Our bedroom is going to be moving upstairs. So this is our new bed. The bed was from Wayfair. The mattress is from Eve Mattress. Um, and then the linen duvet is also from Eve. The bed that we ordered from Wayfair was a king size, but it's actually super king. We ordered the mattress at the same time, and obviously it didn't fit. So we had to send the mattress back. Eve was really quick and so simple to do. They collect it for you, and then the new one arrived. So it's actually a super king bed, but dressing a super king bed is so difficult. We've gone for linen sheets. I did have a really thin tog in here, but I've just put on the heavier one because Adam keeps complaining about how cold it is. But it still doesn't look like anything. I feel like we need some extra long pillows. Um, yeah, it needs more things on it, definitely. But I'm just not sure if I like the heaviness of this quilt. Um, yeah, it's difficult. So I'm gonna go onto Pinterest and look for some inspo. We obviously need new bedside tables. These are our old ones and they've been ruined where the windows got put in last week and some kind of lamps and then something to go above the bed. I want to put a piece of driftwood over the bed, um, like a long thin piece of driftwood or something. I saw that on Pinterest as well. Well, the mattress is incredible. I will link to the mattress down below. But yeah, so incredible. Compared to what we had, it was just so uncomfy. And then you get in a bed like this and it's like, wow, oh my God, how was we sleeping like that before? So, gonna start packing the hospital bag. Um, so, first thing is first bag. This is kind of another reason I've been putting it off is because, so I didn't wanna use just like a normal bag because I found that with Pollyanna, 
when I needed something, Adam was struggling to find it and I was trying to remember what side I put what. So um, I'm going to use this bag for now, but I would recommend getting a bag that has compartments. But yeah, like a gym bag that has sections in so that you can divide things that are for you and things that are for the baby because that will make it so much more easier for you and for your partner or whoever is getting things for you. I'm going to use this bag for now, but yeah, I would quite like to have... I wonder if they have like maternity bags. So like, I kind of almost want like a section in the middle so that half of the bag is mine. Half, Or I could just do two different bags, couldn't I? So I've got my list. And this is a list from Pollyanna's and I've added to it and adjusted it to suit me the second time around. First thing on the list is I've kind of organised my list into for me and for baby. And I'll also be doing a blog post on this. So if you are if you prefer written lists, then I would go and check that out. I'll also leave links to everything that I mention in there. So first thing says hospital notes. You can't, you know, you've got to go to hospital with your notes. However, we have a few appointments until we go into hospital, so I'm not going to put them in the bag just yet. A nighty for birthing, which I don't have. Basically, a nighty because a lot more comfortable, especially if you end up having a cesarean. You don't want to be wearing trousers that day or the day after. Um, so definitely go for nighties. And I've put a nighty for before and a nighty for after. For before as well, so I'm planning a water birth. But I found that when you get taken out of the water, if you do, um, it's nice to just put something on you to feel like you're covered up rather than the hospital gowns that they give you as well. Obviously, if you have an epidural, they have to be able to reach your back so you'll be in one of their gowns. But if you are able to have a normal labour still out of water, you'd, if you're not comfortable walking around naked, a nice nighty that's comfortable will be um, a good idea. Slippers. I'm going to get some new slippers as well. And then we've got big knickers. So, for me, I've actually been sent some of these things. These knickers are amazing. Now, before, with Pollyanna, I had just gone to Primark and got some big black cotton knickers. And they were too tight around the the like, the like seam. So, where I ended up in caesarean, um, I stupidly thought your stomach goes back to how it was before. It doesn't. You're going to have a, a bump still. It depends on... On if you're breastfeeding how long for but you're going to have a bump so comfortable knickers are so important especially if you end up in cesarean or you have um stitching down below but i would suggest going for these there is honestly nothing quite like them i found these recently um these are from chantelle they're a soft stretch so they have no seam in them whatsoever they're yeah they're also um no VPL, which is nice after pregnancy. Um, one size, so these are extra small to extra large, and they're available on fig leaves, but I've even got a pair on now. They are so comfortable, and you don't feel disgusting in them. Like, you feel like you're still put together. Yeah, they just feel a bit luxurious, so they're £12 a pair, which I think for some people, that that's, that is, for me, that's a lot of money. Who's grounding at a door walking past? If you think the first pack that I got was from Primark and it was probably £3 or £2.50 for a pack of five. These will fit you so nicely and they will just feel, I cannot, I cannot stress how important good underwear is. Because you're going to be bleeding after, so you're going to be having to wear pads. All these things that I hadn't even considered, but I know now, like I've learnt from my first. So I cannot, cannot stress how much, how amazing these are. And then secondly is a good nursing bra. I don't think I took these into the hospital with Pollyanna. I think I had them at home, but I didn't take them into the hospital because I hadn't considered it. So again, Fig Leaves have sent the Project Me by Hot Milk. Um, Hot Milk is a lingerie brand and I went on a, um, photo shoot with fig leaves recently and I wore this and those knickers that was how I found them and this bra I was wearing it all day and I didn't even realize it was a nursing bra until the end of the day when someone showed me it's so stylish so it it clips here like that and it's magnetic so it's how good is that like the last thing I remember with Pollyanna having a nursing bra and struggling to like hook the loop and just thinking how am I going to do this like especially if you're a first time mum and you're first time breastfeeding 
I just kept thinking, how am I going to do this? Like, with people around me, unhook my bra, try and get her onto my boob. Like, a good nursing bra is what you need. So, this one is, it's nice as well. That's the good thing. It's like sexy still you're gonna feel nice in it that's what you want especially after giving birth looking in the mirror at yourself you feel disgusting no matter what like I well I did anyway I felt pale I was anemic like the last thing I had big horrible knickers on these I had like a grey and white it looked more like a sports bra than a nursing bra so um that is why I've gone for a nice stylish one this time I'll probably wear this home but I will take a few more in with me as well just because um, I want, I don't know what one is going to be the most comfortable at the time, I don't know how big or small my boobs will be. Let's pack a few nursing bras and then we've got towels, I actually need to get, I don't even know why I'm packing this bag, I haven't got anything. Towels, I want to get new towels, I want them to be nice and soft for the baby as well and for me. So nipple cream is another one that I've misplaced but I used the Lansanone nipple cream before and I never took that in my hospital bag before. Um, I thought it would, it would be something that I'd use at home, not knowing that I'd be kept in for three days. Um, and that was when my nipples actually got really, really sore. So I would suggest definitely taking nipple cream in with you, nipple shields, anything that's gonna, that you think you may need while breastfeeding because it's while you're in hospital and the first few days that you're really, really gonna need it. Some deodorant. So I've got a new deodorant, um, I just went for Pearl and Beauty, um, shampoo and conditioner, a hairbrush, my hairbrush in, just in case, um, and then I've got hairbrush and hair slides, now what I would suggest is taking a few and then putting them in a little box so that they're all together. I've got some of these plastic bags and I will just be putting, is it blue? <laughs> I will just be putting hair bands, hair slides all in there. So that they're easy to find and then Adam can find them if I need one if one breaks um, what's up what's up puppy um, so they will be going in there no I think you can see a cat glasses so I'll be taking my reading glasses in with me um, when we went into theatre I had to take my con no did I have to take my contact lenses I had to take them out at some point I think because it went over so long um, so my glasses, my contact lenses, my pot, these will all go in last minute, toothbrush and toothpaste. Then we also need pads because I didn't know so I ended up with ones from the hospital but you do bleed after. So I got these ones from Boots, these are just the Boots maternity pads. Another thing that was for me was comfortable clothing so I had a, it was like a cashmere lounge set but it was so, I, I'd got a size 6. So it was super, super tight and really, really uncomfortable and I just, I ha I remember feeling really uncomfortable in it. So this time I've gone for this and this is from Fig Leaves as well. It's so soft on the skin. I think it comes in small, medium, large. I got a small but there's room in it. Um, the bottoms have like an elasticated waist band you can tighten them they have pockets as well and they're just not too tight not too fitted the neck is nice and loose the last thing you want to feel is like claustrophobic i i put it on today for the first time just to try it on and it's perfect next dressing gown so i've got this one to put in the bag because i don't know if i'm going to be a bit too warm so this one is from fig leaves and this is a cashmere one i got this in small and this is the bliss cashmere robe and i also got it in a darker color because i had a white dressing gown before but <laughs> the last thing you want after having a baby is to be in white the fact that i'm even in this i'm not sure i might even look to see if there's a black option available i think you just feel more comfortable in black after having a baby but that's why i went for a darker color so this is like a really nice kind of brown tone dressing gown but it's loose and it's thin and it's not too much but i also want to get like a nice heavy fleecy one one that feels like i'm wrapped up in a cloud or something and then for the baby we have water wipes <laughs> Yep, water wipes. So this is something that people don't normally take in their hospital bag with them. Um, midwives recommend you taking cotton wool and just using warm water. However, we did not get on with that whatsoever. It made changing the bum, especially the first poo, really quite difficult. Um, these have nothing in them. They're 99.9% .9 water and a drop of fruit extract. Um, 
obviously you won't know your own baby some babies are more sensitive than others Pollyanna was absolutely fine so we had used the cotton wool while we was in hospital because we, that's what we like we thought was best and then we got home and wet wipes were absolutely fine so it just depends on what you want to do don't feel pressured into going by somebody else's rules and nappies for the baby so we have gone for first size these are some pampers ones a friend of ours actually had loads left over kindly gave us bags of them so i'm only going to take a selection into my hospital bag the last time i think we took like the whole jumbo size and that was just really not really not needed yeah i really need to organize this bag i'm just putting it in there for now but it really needs to be like sorted nicely so it's important to take some vests obviously depending what time of year your baby's born in but vests they always recommend oh that's scary so this little boy is having Pollyanna's a few of Pollyanna's hand-me-downs when it comes to vests she had so so many and I saved them all so they are first size or um, newborn and I'm going to take a few different options just so that we have them for when we're there some will have sleeves and some will not so like these ones, these ones are probably the best ones for the baby to go into and then you put your baby grows on top of them. So take a few of these. I would probably take, I don't know, five or six just because why not? You can never have too many of these anyway so take as many as you want. So I've organised through those and I'm going to be taking one, two, three, four, five of the naught to three months because we don't know how big or how little he's going to be and they are short sleeve but then the first size I will be taking some of the long sleeve ones it depends what time of year you're having your baby so ours is he's going to be coming in October so for me I think long sleeve because it's going to be a little bit chilly um, and I'm taking five of those as well and then we have scratch mitts um, scratch mitts to go in the bag and socks um, mitts a lot of baby grows nowadays have the mitts built in so these are optional really. We very rarely, rarely use these. Um, I always went for baby grows that had the mitts built in. So I got some of these from Next just to take with us. But I'll also take scratch mitts. They're a pack of three, I think these were, yep. And they have built in scratch mitts and they obviously cover the baby's toes as well. I got another set of oh, that. Yeah, this is not necessary to take all of these, but I'll probably take two out of the the pack, some lighter ones. And then the coming home outfit, which for me is like such a big deal. Um, that is on the way. It's not here yet. So that's another thing that I can't put in just yet. But um, it's nice to put in a nice little coming home outfit. So muslins as well. It's good to take a pack of those. So I've just got a three pack to take with me. Um, they're great if you're breastfeeding and they're also nice to, I'm going to take a really, really long one as well. They're in the wash, but they're nice for when people are visiting and if you're just starting breastfeeding, it's nice to just cover yourself up a little bit if you don't feel comfortable. This blanket, which was from Elodie Designs, and it's kind of a waffle fabric, but it's nice and thick and that can be thrown over him while he's in his cot in the hospital and then when leaving that can be thrown over him in his car seat so that's a nice one and it's got this kind of gold trim around the bottom so that's going to go into the bag as well i feel like this video was going to be called pack my hospital bag but it's kind of half pack my hospital bag there's still quite a lot of stuff um to go through um, and then on top of that you've got your phone chargers don't forget to take them and camera chargers if you need a camera charger and I'll be taking like extra SD cards for my cameras um, I even took we even took our laptop in with us last time and I said to Adam that's not happening this time no 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 like we thought we were going to be watching TV or like yeah crazy what was what was we thinking honestly I can't believe it so that won't be happening. I kind of want to get some plastic bags for things to go into just so everything's a little bit more organised and I'm not having to faff around while I am maybe laid up in bed or feeding or just spending time with my baby. So I want people to be able to find things quite easily. So I'm going to have a look I think on Amazon tonight. Um, I will keep you posted. Uh, that will probably go into the blog post. So if you want to see a better version of what to pack in my hospital bag head to that blog post because 
that will be the final, the final one. This is honestly more like a hospital packing, a hospital packing bag fail. Even though it's my second time, I'm still making mistakes. So I have decided to go for a suitcase. I think a suitcase is gonna be a lot easier. And then when I looked online for kind of organizers, I found um, packing cubes, which I'm sure a lot of people would have already heard of, but they're such a good idea. So I'm gonna order some right now. I've just taken a quick look on Amazon and there are so many different options. Um, you can get eight packs and then you can put like the dirty laundry in there as well, which is great So like the dirty um, vests and things and lots of different colors that you can get or you can go for Cal Pack, which is a really well-known designer for travel and they have this kind of pink marble ones for £60 um, Not sure what ones I'm gonna get yet, but that is what I'm going to do this time. So this is going to be the most organised hospital bag ever. I have got the suitcase from out of the shed. I don't even know why I didn't think of this. It's because a hospital bag, you just assume that you need a bag. But no, you can take a suitcase into the hospital with you. And don't feel silly for taking as much stuff as you want. So I'm going to be taking a pillow this time as well because Adam had no pillow. So we might even take two. So this will do for now. I'm going to order the bags now I'll let you know what ones I order I think I'm going to continue this whole hospital pack in a, another video and show you the final outcome when it is properly done because this was a little bit of a fail <laughs> so already that is so much neater and I don't know why I didn't do this the first time take a suitcase so my stuff will go in this compartment baby's bits will go in here I've got the mitts and socks some hats as well. Um, I'm probably going to change this up when his new items arrive um, and add them to it. But it's just so much better. And like Adam said, we'll have a fresh pack of nappies in the car to leave in the car in case we need more. I personally can't remember how many we went through the first time. So that can go there. Then um, I'll have a bag for my cosmetics and my hospital notes can go in there so they're easily accessible. And then my stuff will go on this side. So, a lot better, but I will keep you updated. Oh, we've got so many new bits for the baby already. Some have been gifted by brands, some we brought ourselves, and some were from friends for my baby shower. I'm gonna go through some of those bits with you now and show you some of his new outfits. So, Jojo Mam and Beb is a brand that we work with with Pollyanna and I remember some family members got Pollyanna some baby grows from them and they were my absolute favourite. I've actually kept one so that she can pass down to her own daughter. This time he's luckily been sent some lovely little bits. So there's this star baby grow and it also really reminds me of the Stella McCartney dress that Pollyanna has. It would match that beautifully. This duck baby grow. So we've got sizes newborn, but how beautiful. This one comes with a matching hat. The hat is around here somewhere. Um, and so does this, so you can have matching hats. I love, that was one thing I didn't do with Pollyanna. I didn't put her in hats, but I love seeing other babies in them. So this time I'm gonna really, really try. And this is the matching duck hat to go with the duck baby grow. How lovely. And then I also got a little bonnet. Adam doesn't wanna put him in a bonnet, but we shall see. It is quite girly, but we'll see. And then I just thought this was really cute. So this is an embroidered, not to three months, pyjama set. The quality of Jojo Mum and Babe is incredible. Like, so, so incredible for their price point as well. It's just beautiful. So soft. It's got a little boat on it. Um, it doesn't have feet, but that's obviously where socks come in handy. And then it doesn't, yeah, it's not... Um, scratch mitts will be needed for this one these ones have built-in scratch mitts that's all very good oh this was also jojo mum and beb how cute is that i adore anything with ears tail anything anything animal like my lovely friend danielle got him a whole outfit so this is actually his first proper outfit where are the shoes here this is his first proper outfit. Look, it has the bow tie. This is not to three months. 
how adorable and the shoes his first pair of shoes because we've not got him a pair of shoes yet and then it crisscrosses at the back and that one is from tesco i believe it says tu so yep baby tu and then we just got some of the plain baby grows because you can never ever have too many and we got these in size i think it was up to one month these are from next and next baby grows you just cannot go wrong with next baby grows these are a pack of four and we've got star print dark navy stripe pale blue and a light blue stripe so adam is so into his stripes he chose that one and then we went for this one which was a more darker option and this one is only a pack of three so it's got stars stripes and more stripes they've all got the oh no they, these ones don't oh yeah they do yeah they've all got the built-in scratch mitts which is why i love next baby grows and they wash really 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 well these were also a little gift from a friend and these are from MS little booties i think i'm going to put these in the hospital bag as well just from my friend jazz and it's his first little polo ralph lauren bodysuit but it's a shirt so we need to get him i've actually brought in some chinos next kindly sent him an outfit as well this has look how cute this is little london teddy bears across the front it has a cute collar it's up to one month and then little chino so this will go so nicely with the polo ralph lauren one won't it and then also this how lovely is that so it's like a knitted cable knit it's got these brown detailed buttons and that's up to one month as well I just thought that was beautiful. That with like one of the bobble hats um, and then thick knit socks on his feet. I'm going to dress him so cosy. I'm really looking forward to it. And then, so these bits are more bits from my baby shower. This one is um, three pack baby grows and they're up to one month as well. I love the colours. m and do really lovely baby grows as well. I will try and link everything down below so you can all shop them as well. This is another one from Next and it's got a giraffe. This was from Jenny and a little rainbow. It's like a soft velour fabric. That's up to one. Oh no, that's first size. So it's good that we've actually got a few different ones. I might pack this in the hospital bag as well. And then these, which say, I love daddy. I love mummy. They're very cute. Where are they from? They're M&S. So these are great to go under baby grows. I forget like how much they have to wear a vest and stuff. And then this is from Next. A three pack of baby grows. But these ones are short sleeves. We've got the blue lion. We have another animal print. I think these were from Jenny too. And then elephants but in blue. Vests, baby grows. You can never ever have too many. And then this one is also from Next. It's a two piece set. And it's so soft. Like really really soft beautiful lightweight check striped not checked <laughs> striped t-shirt to go underneath which is a little body as well so it wraps around the nappy keeping him keeping it the chill out it says little bear hugs really really soft and lovely and then this which has the giraffe i love my mummy and then finally I went to an event a few weeks ago with Pottery Barn and they gave us some goodies at the end of it and these were in them so this is a swaddle set but you can use these to cover yourself up if you're breastfeeding so I'm going to take this one into the hospital with me maybe even two um, but also yeah swaddle is another really good thing to take with you when um, you're in the hospital because it helps your baby to sleep like they've, they've been used to being in your belly and cuddly and warm so swaddling is a really good thing to do adam was always better at it than me like i'd always get him to do it so these are the cheetah swaddle sets i'll link them below as well and then this which we won't be taking to hospital with us because he won't be bathing but it's just a hooded towel and i think it's always nice to have a few of these for the baby um i think I would start off with about three or four, just so you have enough one to wash the other. They're a cute little addition to bath time. So I feel like this has turned into more of like a haul, um, a baby clothing haul. But now we're going to go downstairs and I'm going to show you what we got from Bugaboo as well. So maybe this isn't about the hospital bag, this video, this is about baby bits. <laughs> 
He absolutely loves being by this window and watching. Look at him, he's so nosy. Carpets are being cleaned as well this week, so that's very good because after doing the windows, they got so filthy. Next up, we have a huge parcel that has come from Bugaboo and it's for um, autumn winter, so you can change a lot of the things on the Bugaboo and each season we kind of change the colour that we have on it, which I really like. So they have sent us the Bugaboo organiser. So this is really handy because at the moment we don't need to carry as much as what we used to when she was newborn. Obviously that's going to change, having a newborn again. But it just means we don't have to take the big changing bag. We can take this. This sits on the handlebar and it's got all different sections for different things, which as you probably can tell, I really like. Um, and we got that in black. It's easy access, convenient storage. Grab and go, converts to a handy tote. So yeah, it can hang on to the handlebar or it can have a long handle. So that's really good. And there's two ways of wearing it on the push chair, handlebar way or wrapped around the actual back of the push chair. So I'll be using that. And then we got a new wall liner. So this we have used now since Pollyanna was born, so that's 19 months, and it's been it's been in such good condition. I've washed it twice, just put the brush through, and it goes straight back to like brand new. So we got another one for the new baby, and yes, yeah, so you can wear it the wool way or you can wear it the grey way. But these are such a good investment, and everyone always asks where they're from. They're from Bugaboo. So then this time, because we've got a have I opened that? Have we got a black hood? We do. Oh, it's in the box. Oh, so we've also got a black hood in the box that I'm going to show you. So I went for this pink for Pollyanna, which is her foot mask. We're currently using um, a white one. We've used a grey one. We started off with a grey one. And then we went for a creamy white in the summertime. And obviously now the weather's going into autumn. We thought we'd go for a little bit of a darker colour and give her a little bit of colour, a little bit of girly girly vibes because I've been going for a little bit more colour lately. So we've also got the black sun canopy. So this is in um, black obviously but it's water, water repellent. You can wash them and it's just such a quick and easy way of changing the push chair. It literally feels like you have a new push chair every time you change the colours. So again we've had the cream, the grey and they just go really well and you can mix and match the hoods to the bodies like the cosy ones so a nice little touch there this is for pollyanna the what are they called the boogie boards comfort in wheel a wheeled board but she can stand on it as well mm -hmm. yeah oh that's really good so yeah that means that i can still use the bugaboo along with the newborn but she can sit on this she can stand on it and she's going to love it but i probably will have to test it out first to see how long she's going to last on it but these are such a good idea if i'm not doing a long journey so that wheel board is something that kind of isn't going to be a lot of great use at the moment but give it a few more months it'll be perfect for when we've got trips to the park or anything and then i also got this so these are all things that were gifted from Bugaboo um, and I did request them from them and I picked the colours so but they have all been gifted but as you all know I've been using my Bugaboo for 19 months now so um, I'm a huge huge fan of the push chair. So we also got the Bugaboo tray which is super handy now Pollyanna is wanting to eat snacks in her push chair. This holds a drink and um, yeah you can also put um, snacks in it so that's really good you just take the handlebar out one side and then it slots in so that will make life easy because Pollyanna has such a tendency to like throw her raisins out which is a pain and then we also got some more PR samples this is from Aiden and Anai I hope I said that right because last time I said it wrong I, yeah Aiden and Anai and it is a snug fit sleeved sleeping bag so these are really great for newborns. Pollyanna still wears a sleeping bag during winter. We have to get her her ones out again. But these are really great. And the Aiden and I ones are ones that we used previously and they were such great quality. And that's it.